Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann and I'm starting a vlog because tomorrow is surgery day. <laughs> Um, I will tell you that um, I'm comparing my nervousness to the first time I ever went up on stage to sing it was like butterflies it was like talkative like I'm, I'm talkative can't keep my my thoughts straight um, a little bit of anxiety a little bit of anxiety um, nerves but in, in all fairness, I'm anxious. Um, I'm anxious to get it done. Uh, I'm anxious to continue this journey. Um, I mean, tomorrow is really day one of the journey, but I've already been doing two weeks of liquid diet. And so I kind of already started the journey, right? Because I haven't been eating and I've been losing. Um, I think I've lost about 12 to 15 pounds. Um, I'll know more tomorrow when I use the um, hospital scale. My scale at home usually is about three to five pounds less than the hospital scale. So that's never fun. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have a journal. I started a journal. Um, I want to show you a couple of things that I have. But I started a journal at the beginning, and it's not really a journal like feelings although there are some feelings in there um it's kind of a tracking journal to keep track of appointments because i want to i think i'm going to want to go back and look through that and and reminisce through this journey um and so there's appointment information there's um you know maybe feelings on that day but it's just a book that i started and um i mean i even have as much as when I was doing my research, I did a lot of making lists like pros and cons, um, some of my unhealthy habits, um, some of the illnesses that I have that I think are going to be taken care of by the gastric bypass, um, some of the research that I did about dumping and foods that you shouldn't eat. Um, so, I mean, I, I think this has been a very good tool for me um, to get to, to my mindset to where it needs to be at today um, you know for me there's a lot of health reasons why I'm doing this um, yes I want to lose weight I mean that's kind of a no-brainer but for me I mean I listed here sleep apnea my aortic valve is insufficient borderline diabetes and diabetes swelling ankles feet legs thyroid issues I'm always tired I need to have a hip replacement I have no energy numb hands uh, plantar fasciitis which is also um, an issue when you're overweight um, lower back pain and GERD so with gastric bypass Diabetes goes into remission, GERD goes into remission, um, least modification of diet with the gastric bypass, have limited mobility because of arthritis and sl slow mo um, metabolism. So, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that I wrote down. Um, and then I kind of started journaling like my highest weight, which was 253.4 pounds. Um, a BMI of 43.3 I needed to lose 10 pounds I did that and then I gained some back um, you know each appointment that I had I wrote down a little bit about the appointment um, you know just it's it's a great thing to look back on and I'm very glad that I started it and so if you are getting ready to do um, this kind of a journey, I would definitely journey it, journal it, whether it's for tracking purposes or for feelings, whatever, um, I would write it down. The other thing is that part of our program, we get this big red binder and in the binder is everything we need to know about um, bariatric surgery. It's got all my appointment papers in it. It's got, um, oh, my measurements. It's got my med list. Um, if I have questions, I can look in this binder and it's going to have the answers for me. So 
those are the two biggest tools that I've had in regards to, um, you know, paperwork or reading or that sort of thing. Of course, I've been doing a lot of searching online, um, watching a lot of videos and, and getting information from there as well. But I also have to understand that my journey is my journey. And so if I'm watching somebody else's journey, it may not be the same for me. And as well as it could not be for you if you're watching this for your journey. Um, so I have to do a uh, antibacterial wash tonight. I have a bottle that they gave me. Um, so I have to do half of that tonight and half of it tomorrow morning. Um, and it's basically a scrub. Um, I would imagine it's probably similar to what doctors scrub in with, with their hands when they come into surgery. Um, and then I have to be at the hospital for 5.15 tomorrow morning, which means I will be up at, at the latest four, up and at them. Um, my husband's going to bring me and I'm, I'm hoping he stays. I'm not gonna know if he does or not. <laughs> um, he is gone right now because he was hungry and he decided to go and get something to eat. Um, he said he wanted to sit down and eat somewhere, so I don't know how he can do that by himself. He has always been able to go and sit at a restaurant by himself. I've done it. It's not my favorite thing to do and I suppose I could do it too, but... Um, so anyway, that's where he is right now and it's giving me an opportunity to talk to you guys. Um, I'm really, really hoping um, that I can do some videoing tomorrow. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. I asked if I could have the camera in the surgical unit and they said no. <laughs> so they just, I don't know, I've seen it before, but they said um, that they don't want to be distracted by somebody having to take video while I'm under, while I'm in surgery. So I'll probably be able to get as much up to the point that they wheel me in and they put me to sleep um, because Ben will be there and I'll be able to give him my phone um, at that point. So we'll see. Um, I'm kind of hoping that, um, well, and I'm hoping that he'll give it to me as soon as I get out into recovery. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I can, I'll add it to this. If not, then you'll see me recovered. <laughs> Um, but I will certainly give you as much of it, the experience of it as I can. Okay, so um, here's till uh, tomorrow. or 
I might have bit my lip, who knows. Um, I'm feeling okay. Um, when I do too much, my tummy hurts. And so then I have to kind of sit down. Um, I have been on diluted, diluted, diluted um, pain meds. They did a liquid oxycodone with me and it didn't seem to work. So, um, and when I take the solid pills, it makes me nauseous. So I don't know. Um, but so far, so good. I'm excited that it doesn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to hurt. Um, I did take a shower this morning. No hair dryer. I get to wear my, my own jammies. That's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, I'm in pretty good spirits. I've had my daughter and my grandson came. Ben is here, obviously. Um, he went to go get something to eat. And uh, my cousin Lisa came to visit me. Um, I got balloons, flowers, a teddy bear. So I'm pretty excited. Um, Hopefully all goes well. I'm going to be going home tomorrow, so you'll be seeing a video probably from home. Very excited that I did this. I'm excited for my new journey to start. My voice is very raspy because it's dry, 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 dry. So, all right, guys, see you later.